if you want to know when to use a medical neuropsych versus when to use a medical neurologist, we're going to cover that right now in terms of personal injury. So let's talk about these two, right? And we're going to frame it kind of in the terms of a, of a concussion patient, right? So let's say you have a patient and they have an MRI or a CT scan or a DTI scan, you know, along with their MRI. A medical neurologist is the person that can read an MRI and a CT scan and the DTI scan to look for structural abnormalities based on those scans. A medical neuropsych doesn't do any of that. I talked to a medical neuropsych last week. He doesn't know how to read an MRI or, you know, he does probably as much as we do as chiropractors for some structures, but he's not, that's not his, that those aren't his skills or her skills. The medical neurologist is the person that can read an MRI and look for structural abnormalities of the brain, spinal cord, and those kind of things. And they'll work hand in hand with pain doctors, uh, obviously neurosurgeons, spine surgeons, and conduct care accordingly. So a neurologist is going to deal with the structure, damaged structures from, let's say, a concussion. I'm framing this in a concussion kind of discussion. So that's when you would use a, uh, a medical neurologist. Now, a medical neuropsych, so let's say you have a patient that has structural deficits on their MRI and their DT scan and their C CT scan. Um, the patient is then should take a cognitive or behavioral test. Now, my clients use the impact test. Impact is an FDA approved concussion test that's used by the NFL, NBA, NHL, NASCAR, colleges and universities, the US Olympic team. They've done over 17 million tests. Uh, so it's widely accepted and it's FDA approved. That's very important. So after uh, the patient takes, it's an online test, a cognitive test, that test, especially if it's done in a chiropractic office, has to be interpreted by a medical neuropsych. Okay, a medical neuropsych uh, is going to, because cognitive testing plays a pivotal role in assessing and understanding cognitive functioning of individuals, especially after a TBI or concussion. So although the medical neurologist possesses extensive knowledge in diagnosing and managing neurological disorders, the interpretation of that cognitive or behavioral test results requires the specialized skills of a medical uh, neuropsychologist or a neuropsych. So neuropsychs, medical neuropsychs are uniquely trained to comprehensively evaluate cognitive function, including memory, attention, executive functioning, and language skills using standardized neuropsychological assessments like the impact test that uh, my clients use. Their expertise enables them to discern cognitive deficits, identify patterns of impairment, and differentiate between neurological, psychological and developmental factors influencing cognitive performance. So that's a basic understanding of the difference between a medical neuro, a neuropsych and a medical neurologist. Furthermore, medical neuropsychologists are adept at contextualizing cognitive test results within the broader framework of an individual's neurological and psychological health. They consider factors as pre-morbid functioning, emotional state, the impact of cognitive deficits on daily activities of quality life. This holistic approach allows for a more nuanced and accurate interpretation of cognitive test findings, thereby guiding targeted in interventions and treatment strategies tailored to the individual's specific cognitive profile or their behavioral profile. Okay. Now, Having your patient take the impact test, which is a cognitive test your patient takes online and have it interpreted by a medical neuropsychologist in personal injury meets the DAW-BEAR standard. D-A-U-B-E-R-T, the DAW-BEAR standard. All you need to know about the DAW-BEAR standard on a nutshell, it means the proper specialists have uh, initiated initiated these tests, initiated these screenings, looked at these screenings. These screenings have been interpreted by the proper specialists, the medical neuropsych interpreting the results of the impact test. The chiropractor does not interpret those tests. The chiropractor can get the screening done and have their patient take the test, but that test has to be interpreted by a medical neuropsych because it's a cognitive or behavioral test. So that helped me when I first heard this, man, it really a light bulb went off over my head about the difference between how a medical neurologist in his or her role in the personal injury space versus the medical neuropsych or medical neuropsychologist uh, part in this PI uh, situation, especially when it comes to TBI. 
Now in the TBI protocol that we have in my program, it's going to be like you have a medical neuropsychologist on your team because we can get, let's say you, your patient took an impact test uh, and you want it in turn and you don't have a medical neuropsych. We can get you a, me a medical neuropsychologist to do a telemedicine visit, one that's certified in your state uh, via telemedicine. They'll interpret the impact test. Uh, and after they interview your client, via telemedicine and they'll generate the report with the diagnosis, the treatment plan, uh, all the things that are going uh, wrong or right with your patient, they will do all that uh, in their assessment. And that meets the dog bear standard, meaning when it lands on the attorney's desk, the attorney can take that to the adjuster in a deposition or to court. And on a soft tissue case with TBI involvement, that medical neuropsych's assessment can help the attorney get that client a $1.2 million settlement on a soft tissue case. It can pop policy limits. Insurance companies are not pushing back on head injuries and brain injuries uh, on these cases, right? So let me explain a $1.3 million settlement. The attorney can ask for, you know, $150,000 to pay for the musculoskeletal injuries, the chiropractic bill, the MRI, the ambulance, the emergency room, you know, all, all of the interventional pain, all that was $150,000. Plus the attorney is gonna ask for $450,000 of ongoing medical care because a TBI or a concussion is a medical event. It doesn't resolve in 90 days like a sprain strain. So the attorney can hire a certified life care planner for 7,500 bucks or so. And a certified life care planner will look at all of the medical records, interview the family members, interview the coworkers, interview uh, all the doctors that treated the patient and come up with a certified life care plan that says, hey, this patient's gonna need $450,000 of ongoing care uh, after they're released from their musculoskeletal injuries. They're gonna need physical therapy, uh, maybe some interventional, visits for pain and perhaps some neuro, more neuropsych evaluations as, as they recover. 15 years of care, that's going to cost $450,000. And we're asking for $400,000 of pain and suffering. Patient can't work anymore. They've lost their job, lost wages, punitive damages, $1.2 million settlement on a soft tissue case that started in your office when you have a TBI protocol with a cognitive test interpreted FDA approved cognitive test interpreted by a medical neuropsychologist to generate the report based on that cognitive test. Now you have a TBI protocol that will hold up in court. And when you start marketing this to attorneys, they're going to start listening because they want $1.3 million settlements, don't they? That's what they really care about. If they send you a case, Mr. Chiropractor, Dr. Chiropractor, or Dr. Doctor, can you maximize the value of my case if I send it to you? Well, a TBI protocol can do just that. Okay, so I, I talk to a lot of doctors. They say, hey, I have a medical neurologist on my team. We have a TBI protocol. Well, that doesn't meet the Daubert standard because a medical neurologist cannot interpret cognitive and behavioral deficits and make judgments on those. A medical neuropsych uh, does that. So if you're watching this on YouTube, like my uh, like this video if you got some value from it subscribe to my channel on youtube uh, i really appreciate that like and subscribe thank you so much for attending today i hope you got good value about and have some deeper understanding about the value of a medical neurologist versus a medical neuropsychologist on your team and in personal injury